Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, we got the best pendulum deck. I built it specifically to destroy the tier limit deck. Who plays tier limits? Only losers play tier limits. Fab, you play tier limits, bro. Come on, man. Man, what is this cap? But I played it with cool cards. Okay. So it's okay. You wanna know what else is what what card I played in that deck? What? Scare claws. Oh hell like that. Wanna know what deck I what card I'm playing in this deck? What? Scare claws! Scare claw pendulums! Wait, what? It works, I know, trust no, me. It doesn't. Are you sure? Scare claw pendulum works. Scare claw pendulum! That's right, baby. Scare claw pendulums are coming and I'm excited. But before we get into this video, I want you guys to go check out down in the description below Olestrals. I know I brought it up the last six videos. But I believe in this game. The launch is exclusive launch until the December 4th. This game is insane, and I firmly believe with the right backing, this game can reach Yu-Gi-Oh! levels. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter. I love Yu-Gi-Oh! It's yu gi -Oh! my most favorite game of all time, and I love the potential of Elestrals. I really think could reach that level as well so go check out the link below it has a cool feel of Yu-Gi-Oh, pokemon and magic all combined in one which is something i really enjoy so go check that out and with that being said uh let's go clap up the world with scareclaw pendulums it takes the best of scareclaw the best of pendulums and the best of field spells similarly to how illustrious does with the three best games in the world let's get into the video let's go every tournament players in shambles are you sure so, yes oh, i'm very okay. sure i'm excited for this so i'm gonna show you guys this football right now this wait what happened way. to Dra draco slayers what happened to that what happened to draco slayers we got them all in here baby oh. we got them all in here wow. every single good pendulum archetype ever plus my homie vice's star frost is in this deck so i'm gonna show you guys how to play it so stay tuned to the end of the video before we get into it guys make sure get the people beyond the pendulum playments so we're gonna be magical doctor these four the idea of this deck is that you guys are, might be wondering why are we playing Vice of Star for us? Triff, why are you playing Vice of Star for us? Well, you play seven of these, right? They're the best cards in your deck. Vice of Star for us is actually searchable by your entire deck. So, what if I told you Vice of Star for us gets three spells for each of these and you can search at any time? Here's the strategy. So, the idea of this deck is that you play 11 ways to harmonizing magician. Okay? So, even if you open zero spells, it doesn't matter because if you pendulum harmonize magician, harmonize magician gets Ignister. Ignister specials Majesty Pegasus. Maiden, whatever her name is. And this will search you, Perlarino. And then Perlarino will get you one spell, right? Perlarino will get you one spell to get you one counter on this, which gets you Vice's Star Frost, which gets you the other Scareclaw spell, which gets you the Scareclaw Arrival. That is three spells from one Ignister. I'm so genius, it's insane. So when you play all these engines together, you're able now that for Ignister, could trigger all these seven together. So that's the idea behind the deck before we get into it. Just so you guys understand the combo behind it and why it works. Wait, apparently you know searches uh, Visa Star Frost? Yeah, it does. I thought it searches Rhino Heart. Well, I should Star Frost. Screw Tier Limits. They suck. The only reason I play Tier Limits is because of I should Star Frost. <laughs> and that's why you guys are going to play Pendulums now. It just works amazing. Oh, it's like, genius. think of all, like, I know. Think of all the Tier Limit garbage that people play. This just does better than Tier Limit. And think about this as well. People are going to play Abyss Dweller, Bistids. Ishizu, I don't care what graveyard. There's specifically no graveyard cards in this deck. You could what? You're gonna abyss dweller me? Yeah, exactly. You're gonna, yeah. Okay, bro. Okay, you're getting OTK. Let's go, baby. Go ahead. Tell, That's right. Tell, tell him. Tell him. I won't tell him. Tell, you tell know him what? again. Tell him again. I won't tell him again. Tell him again. Abyss dweller me again. You're just gonna lose. Yeah, you're, you're trash, bro. Yes. Let's go, man. So after these seven, Let's we're go. gonna play three Joker and two Harmonizer. Like that. Only two? Yes, because it's searchable by many cards. We play five Pen Call. We play five Harmonizing. That's ten ways to harmonize it. And let's not forget as well, beyond the pendulum, search is harmonizing. True. So you have any way to get it, so you basically get access to the Vice of Star Frost combo every single turn. Yeah. The idea is you just don't want to, if you open the Vice of Star Frost combo, don't go for the Vice of Star Frost combo, obviously. Mm. That was my fault I made at the beginning. Remember when me and you played Sam? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I played a lot of, of Scareclaw cards. That's not the way. You just play one of each. Right. Because you just, all you need is just one, and just you get search. all of them. True. So playing multiple is very redundant. Yeah. But you, it's trial by fire. You have to learn this. Jeez. So just one of each magician, you don't know, you don't want to play two because you want to play enough so you can resolve pen call twice if you had to so this five number is perfect so when you cut one there's scenarios where you wish you had the third non harmonizing magician in there and these are the perfect ones because you need one high scale uh that's not harmonizing and you need one level six to make baron so the end board you have six you have seven negates but you can only put up typically four plus necro valley so the idea if you start up with scareclaw stuff 
Maiden searches Necro Valley. Post side deck and searches Secret Village. Yeah. So in any deck that Secret Village is really good against, you go Secret Village with a bunch of negates. In any deck that Necro Valley is good against, aka tier limit, you go uh, Necro Valley. Wow. You're a genius. I know. And one pen sort because you play three, you play dual, you play two dualist alliance, but you want some card for dual science to search that is not uh, a pen call. Because you play five pendulum calls, but you sometimes you might want to discard something else that's not pendulum call. So it is very nice to have an any pendulum named that just says pendulum in its name to be able to search it. Yeah. Also search rule by beyond the pendulum to do some cool plays and it's really good because you have field spells that don't matter. Right. So you could pop them. One jackal, one master, this is all you need. Uh, a big error I did at the beginning, like I said, I would play uh, doubles of uh, a lot of these Scareclaw cards. You should not be doing that, because one of each, one of everything, really. Because the whole deck, you basically take one of every good Pendulum card ever made. Like, they're all searchable. These are all searchable. So you don't need to play more uh, than you need to, because they just search the other ones. Uh, like, one of this, just one Draco search. Like, they're all searchable. So playing more becomes actually re literally redundant. Because you search each of them whenever you want to. By playing multiples, you'll have multiples in your hand. But you, like Pendulum has something no other deck can. These are all searchable by your whole deck, no matter what. Ignisha searches, Draco searches everything. You have the Pendulum searches everything. Pencall searches everything. Draco right. searches everything. You have seven ways to serve it. Like so, you don't want too much. Souls is probably the best card in this deck when you don't open it. Time Star sometimes searches it because you plus two with it all the time because you play so many field spells. So Souls of field spells is absurd. And when you're able to normal summon an actual pendulum or what and you have souls, you go beyond the pendulum, so it's even better. You know, it's absurd in this deck. Three pen call, two duelist alliance, five of them is good. A lot of draw cards, there's a lot of darks in this deck. A lot of draw cards to trigger the servant and abductor and stuff like that. Also, we play four field spells. The field spells is what you play is one of this, one of this, all you need, and then one necro volley, one mystic mind. Jeez. The Necro Valley, uh, it all depends on what you're playing. You, you should side deck into two Fenrir. So Fenrir, like, Fenrir is mainly for going second, but you also re remove the cards like Mystic Mind and Set Rotation going second. And you still play Terraforming and Set Rotation. So that way you play three Mystic Minds going second, but you only have the one Brick, per se, going second. So, and you can also search the Mystic Mind with the Ignister and the Maiden. So it's the idea that Maiden and Ignister and Harmonizing Magician and Pen Call all these cards get you to every field spell. So if there was even more broken field spells, I would play even more. Pearl Arena is probably the best field spell in the game because it searches not tier limit nonsense, it searches Vice of Starfrost, which in this deck does absurd things. Yeah. And then the one Scarecrow Arrival. This might be a Scarecrow Twin Saw in the future. The only, the only reason it's Scarecrow Arrival is because it triggers Servant and Abductor by itself. So when you go beyond the Pendulum, beyond the Pendulum, search Servant, scale Servant. Ignister, get this, you resolve your servant after the counters were negated and still get three spells. That's the idea behind Arrival, but I don't want cards in my graveyard that they could bist it. If that makes sense? Yeah, yeah, true. So this is probably better to be a Scarecrow Twin Saw. What's which that? Is, uh, it's absurd. This card says, uh, tri Tribute, uh, Scarecrow Monster, pop two cards. Wow. And banish it from the graveyard. No, your, uh, no link effects. No link effects can use their effects. Link monster can use their effects this turn. That's insane. It's a floodgate, yeah. It's really good. So, and it's a really good card to discard off Maiden because it does have discard. So that is the main deck. It's exactly 40. I cut it to 40 to make sure the consistency is absurd. And yeah. No hand traps? Uh, no hand traps because you just destroy every board. I don't want hand traps against Bisted. Sorry, against Tier Limit. Why? Let, let Tier Limit do their full board. And you can break that every time. Them. Their board is baby food. It's the most, it's a mid-off between the most garbage decks. Tier Limit and Flunder. Their boards fucking suck. Because think of pendulum boards. No, but this you play, is a win. No, but you play Jailman, so but you play Jailman. So how? I only so, play Scareclaws. No, so how do you break your own board? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll tell you, it's really I'll tell trash. You. So think of every single person watching this video. Right. Plays Jailman. Right. What's your end board? Maybe a Bissit or two in hand. Maybe a DD Corral. No, no, no. So it's Baron, a Bist Dweller, no, Clyde O'Hara. Not Baron Prime. always. Even that. No, not always. That's not always. Like people are capping really hard if so they, they say cap. that's so people are capping. like massive. Right. Massive. If they say that's their end board, it's not, it doesn't happen all the time. Doesn't happen. It Baron is, happens like... first off if they even play Diviner, if they even play Baron. That's one thing. If they even get to that. If they do, no problem. It's just a Baron. Right. Think of. So it's Baron, one of the traps, not two. To say two is just a lie happens sometimes an elf and a dweller so let's put let's go back a little bit so baron and selyak yes and a colado yes <laughs> you can have a fourth if you want what you want to roll Kalos too yeah four interruptions yeah can you beat that let's rewind back to rock format you guys remember matchmaker format yeah i was clearing those six interruption boards for lunch <laughs> this is four interruptions 
How many cards am I given to start my turn with? Six. Six. So, so what you're am I that doing four to my last Scarecrow card? So four can be negated? That's and it. That's all, that's all you need is two cards to win. That's all I need. You're insane, boy. When there's that a harmonizing magician, there's a way. <laughs> That's all you need. When so, there's a harmonizing, there's a way. That's it. That's all you need. So, and uh, that doesn't even include the side deck. When you sphere mold them into oblivion, true, true, nice true. Yak, where's your Tillman cards? Lava Golem, where's your Tillman cards? True, true, true. Then a zero interruption, even one, uh, Ben Rear, not so much. Even a right of Aramisir actually clears the entire board. It does. I would love to fit right of Aramisir in here, but I think Abductor searching a Skulker by Joker is so good yeah. that I kind of don't want to put in Enchantress and stuff. True. But that's the main deck. Tillman uh, players Wait, are currently in no board, no, no tactics. Not, no, no board breaking. Not in the main deck. We have we have three missing minds, right? Okay, we have yeah. three missing minds. So True. another thing you can do is use your five cards to stop them, missing mind them, wait for five turns, and then kill them. Bro, I love the way you think. Like it's totally different from like everybody. Thank you. A lot of players are like sheep. They'll just uh, see oh what did uh Bert, what did Jesse play? What did Honey play? What did Pac play? Oh, what do you call people that follow you? What you play? Geniuses. <laughs> but no, but it's like they they look no, but like they'll look and like they'll play the top players. Uh, list without thinking like they'll just play it but not understand the ideas like oh why are they playing this why is this going on so it's either your way or no way yeah yeah okay but i'm not discrediting all the best places in the world as well they're all my homies as well they're also geniuses in their own right 100 percent, they're geniuses in their own right but they're the best after you though that is true but that's not what i was getting at even though it is true i'm the best on the planet but it's still not getting to that point what i'm saying more so is like these players will follow their list yes but they have reasonings why they're playing it oh like hani has a reason why he's playing one agito in his list but other people will see this oh yeah i play one agito why because of honey they're just gonna be like oh i don't know i, I just i don't know i just saw it online somewhere oh. hani knows why he plays one but they don't know mm. so what i'm getting at is this idea I, these ideas and the like the logic behind these players should, you should know why you're playing these specific ratios. Right. There should be a reason why you're playing two of a card or a three of a card or right. one of a card. You guys should have a reason. They know why. Hani knows why. Jesse knows why. But you guys should know why as well. Exactly. Anyway, so extra deck, one beyond the pendulum. I would like to play two, but I mean, is one nice is fine. One? She's bad. Look at this, too. Get ah, you guys can get your mask. Yeah, you guys come on. How do you guys not have this mask? Look at her. Damn. Got like that, Steven. You got like that or that? Yeah. Bro, holy. Can I send me another one? I will. I got you. Okay, thank you. Do actually, do you want this one? Yeah, you want it? Yeah, too, yeah, yeah, too bad. Go on TripGimme.com and oh, you can get it. You can't touch that. Sorry, my bad. Whoa, no yeah. problem. No problem. Okay, sorry. Then Dark. Oh, yeah. Dark is nice. Dark. You remember your, when we played, it was a, a Blue Eyes or Pen deck. Luckiest win of Sam's life. Man. But he did this play. It was absurd. He stopped with Blue Eyes Spirit. He stopped me from pen summoning. So I was forced to pen one card, right? Yeah. So I was playing really weird pendulums. But I still had a way to win. I'm like, all right, I just outed everything. I'm going to go into Dark. I'm going to take his bist in. I'm going to climb up to Selene. I'm going to do all my plays. And then he went spirit to the moonlight and he bounced my dark. I was so sad. It's GG, bro. Oh, it was a nice play. One masquerade number interruptions, a unicorn, a Selene, and Apollosa, and Axis Code. These are the links with the one skip called Lightheart. This is really all you need. Uh, like, this is nice because this deck turbos out Dweller and turbos out Necro Valley. Like, you do search Necro Valley against Tealumit all the time with this. So, against Tealumit, which it should be a lot of the decks you're playing, your interruptions are fantastic. You always defeat that deck. But you need other types of interruptions versus the other decks, which is the only reason Mascarina and Apollos are there with Unicorn. Like, you want other forms of interruptions. This is why I'm almost playing Vortex in here as well. Yeah. Also, I'm playing Baguska. Also, I... There's either in the interruptions. I'm Baron and Savage. So, you, like, I don't typically go into them against Tier Limit, but you want some version of them. Obviously, you're not ending just on Dweller. It's like Dweller, Bagus, uh, Dweller, Baron, Apollosa, whatever. But you want to make sure you're very set up against other decks as well. So, you want the plethora of different interruptions depending on the matchup. So, if you get, let's say you get D Shifter, very easily you can end Ap Apollosa and Baguska through D Shifter. So, you also have to prepare against those garbage decks as well. Yeah. So, these are like the other cards. Now, there's still a few more XYZs and Synchros. We're playing uh, Ignister as well for the idea to get that, also for going second. We're playing Time Star because there are scenarios where you search Magician Souls and draw two, and then climb up with Dark. It just gives you so much plus. Amazing. And lastly, you do need a card for attack points, like Gaga Cowboy, because the attack points is very relevant when you base Bist to Magnum. It's true, it's true. Yeah, because like think of a like, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So when I was facing, I was missing this card against Sam. He had a Blue Eyes White Dragon on the field, yeah. and this card could have destroyed the Blue Eyes White Holy. Dragon in attack position, because that's wow. a really good attack. Can boost. I read attack Yeah, it's a really good attack effect. Holy. Holy, yeah, it's really, this card attacks only once so gains, gains 1,000 attack points. Bro, that's yeah. insane. It's like reinforcements, the trap so guard, beats but times over, two. Beats over 3,000, in 2,000. Yeah. Number. You're insane, I, I know. bro. You're a genius. I know. Like that. And that's the extra deck and the side deck uh, I don't have on me. 
Oh, why? Wait, so you have no side deck? I just didn't play. I don't need a side deck. Well, you're just that good, eh? This, I'm not that. I'm decent. My deck is just that good. Holy. Okay, so anything else you want to say? Uh, Not much. Just uh, thank you guys for watching. The video is... uh, The deck's amazing. You guys actually, like, if you guys want to play Pendulum this format, just go back in this video, bookmark it, and literally rewatch the whole thing. Exactly. Like, Send it to your friends, your mom, your sister, your, your especially brother. Especially to your sisters. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. So they'll know how to play the right Pendulum deck. That's right. Especially that's, to your sister. Yes, that's it. And that's my it. phone number, you can tell them as well. Six four seven. Yes. From the highest peaks to the darkest forest and the deepest oceans, discover the enchanted mythical creatures known as Elestrals. Wield the power of the gods and elemental spirits. Clash for victory. Ascend to immortality. Elestrals Card Game, available now on Kickstarter.